morning hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm here in south yorkshire it's dry in south yorkshire at the minute but i think it's going to get quite wet not got much feed left so me and andy are going to go and do the pens together while my dad goes off drilling and um, he's just going to re-drill some wheat that was across the road with barley hopefully before it rains i'm letting andy in now with the straw blower I'm just doing a mix that's the molasses going into there and I'm just going to be watching the wake up to wait in until we got the precise amount because oh, nearly back in the end then um, because cows love consistency um, the rumen microbes adapt to the feed that they're eating and um, if you start changing it around too much then um, you're killing the microbes that are doing the work in the room and so um yeah so basically we need to keep everything the same every day if possible when we do make changes we make them slowly and gradually small and gradually not slowly and gradually so like the same aren't they anyway it's morning i'm sorry and he's bedded these guys down already these are all real hungry the new ones. Mix has all been tipped off, so now I've just fetched it back out here so we can start a premix a little bit later. Also, need to do today is get the mill on because um, there's no barley left, no crushed barley left, so we need to get that on. And it's a pretty decent day to do it. It's wet. There's not like the field work my dad's doing now, but you'll probably get rained off, so it'll be in the in the yard jobs today. Just got a KW bucket on now and some sugar beet. One feed a bit of this out. Andy's just getting the mill prepared, greased round. Morning Andy. So this puts it through two rollers and chops it into pieces. Right, I've got to get Andy into the big shed. We've still got some strawing to do. It's getting it fired up. Coffee time! Andy's got the mill going. Noisy, noisy. Is it running all right? Uh, Good. Andy is on filling the mill up. Going over the bit of the bump in front of the shed here. Concrete's just breaking up just in front of the shed, which is a bit of a pain. Keep hitting it and bouncing. Grants around here for concrete. Never had a grant for anything here at this farm. Um, but we're going to have to rip that up at some point and redo it. Depends how long we wait, really. Yeah, I think it's got like reinforcements in it and stuff. So it's going to be a real pain to rip up. It's just like metal everywhere. But um, yeah, at some point we're going to have to. We have to stop putting feed in here, close off the shed altogether, and concrete that bit. But when we get a chance, I don't know. Andy, just having a bit of a clear up down the side of the crush here. Um, all the straw gets blown across and lands in here. Well, not all of it, but it just happens, doesn't it, Andy? I know you're not purposely trying to do that, but it, it happens. What do people think we should do to try and fill that in so the straw doesn't get round? Do we have to put something round there? I don't know, I think it'd be a bit extreme. Maybe we just have to clean it out more often. So, I've been out um, most of the afternoon doing something that I couldn't film. Um, so we'll go and catch up with Ben and Andy and see what they've been getting up to this, uh, yeah, this afternoon. Now I've been told off for filming it the wrong way. Flash Ash has been telling me, oh, it's wrong way, mate. We'll get Andy again, see if we get a wave of Andy. To be concentrating this job and I nearly fell off it. That's a big bear, but the job's running well. To show Joe's viewers that I can actually back things. Because uh, 
everyone seems to comment saying they're never back in anything this year. There we go. I think we need to start a GoFundMe page for Joe and uh, the window that I very kindly broke for him. Well, he's not even, uh, well, not even cleaned it. Andy must be going mad about this all the time. Let's go and push the um, corn in now that Andy's being milling. Oh, my dad's back with some cows. Look how close that is, backing up line. It's perfection, that is. How awesome is that, G Gap? You didn't it? There's a gap, no! I knew where I was. Yeah, first time for everything. Yeah. Andy's on. The mill. So we've got some brushing up to do after they've been doing some milling. Send you loads of videos there. Ben sent me some videos, so we'll see them in a minute. See what they've been up to. Andy's giving it a big push in. Andy's going to send me video clips now of what he's done earlier. So I was just going to go and um, video it now, but he's already done it. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah? Business. Andy's, Andy's giving me like this video. Yeah, this, this video. Does everybody like this video? Is this the best <laughs> clip you've ever seen? I like the audio <laughs> like Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Audio quality is brilliant on it, Andy. <laughs> So I think what Andy was going to show you is the absolute weapon of a job that he's made in here. Look at this! Three bucketfuls of muck? That's tidy that Andy, I like that. I do like that, yeah that's good. Don't fret everyone, we found a bit of Andy's footage. Here it is. 1.30 on the, the mill this afternoon, getting that done. Got a mix going on as well. And uh, add a bit of bale Jenga, you know, line up the bales. I just done a pre mix, ready for later. Tidied the pit up a bit while I was at it. So I just took it to five ton so we can get the machine started again later on. And we can uh, use up what's on the floor as well so we're not like letting it spoil. Andy's on just tipping the mix out with a big 6210. What a beast. As Ben moves the TM. While I've been away, we've had a little parcel come to the farm. Andy's going to be happy. You are going to be happy. Yeah. yeah. So we, we tried to get somewhere out of rain, but there's nowhere we're in the light. Easy dose to parry, pour on gun, Andy. Nice. That is good, isn't it? That is nice. Like, that is really nice off to parry to send us this. We we'll, might as well just have a little look and give it an open. Now what? Now you've covered it in straw. Have I? <laughs> it's a farm effect. It's a farm effect. Ready? We're ready, Andy. So I'm not ready. It's looks like quite a challenge. It's two man job to open, crikey. Oh, oh, oh. We've got an instruction booklet, so I hope you're going to read that tonight, Andy. Your bedtime <laughs> reading. Oh, baby. What a beast. Charge it, well, we better not get that wet. Back oh, we got some batteries there. Right, so, when we're worming cattle, now we'll put the pipe onto there, and onto this bottle of worm or whatever, and this will just, instead of you breaking them, Andy, yeah. as per you, you know that Andy breaks these guns, all you've got to do is press the trigger. the trigger. There's nothing for you to break. Uh, that's nothing. all right then, isn't it? It's going to take all that stress off your hand, going like that, however many hundred times, Measured out to the right, right amount. Stop me having tendonitis in my arm. Yeah. There's another set of them in the box as well. Oh, another set of batteries have been given as well. Nice. Yeah, and we'll have to put them on. Oh, you can even charge them. Like, by the looks of it, 12 volt wise. So you don't even need to. That's that's good thinking actually, because like, I mean, for us, we've got 240 volts, but like, some people might just be doing it out in the field. Still charge your batteries. That's good. So we're going to show this um, working when we get. We've got a few cattle in actually, at the minute. Have a look Andy, we've got some here. So, probably tomorrow-ish, maybe, we'll get this baby set up and these guys will get wormed along their back with the easy dose gun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, 
you do the worming, but I, I feel like I want a little. I want to do it now. <laughs> where's your, where's your fluke it. one? I think we could do it one, couldn't we? Could, do yeah. one for fluke. Be and we'd nice. have double bubble, wouldn't we? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Business. So that is what we use normally. This is what we're going to be using. So we'll put this on the end of the pipe. And then all we'll have to do is that. Now, obviously, we can't pull that because we'll be putting worm it into the environment, Andy, when it's not needed. Yeah. So if Ben wants to demonstrate with the other one. An old, old dirty one. Old, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Big Mick around again. So the problem with them is when you're doing that, that our Ben's doing all the time, all day, it... It, it is quite physical on your hand, isn't it? I'm not saying like, if you're doing 10, if you're doing like five or 10 cattle, yeah, fair enough, like you just get on with it. But like, if you're doing it a lot in a day, that um, that really does work on your hand. And I imagine if you're like an older farmer that's got arthritis or something like that, mm. pressing. But you could let anyone that. use that though, couldn't you? Someone who wasn't strong enough to do that. Some ads, like the flute one takes a lot of pulling sometimes. Yeah. That That what? should be. And that, and that one, that's smaller, isn't it? Um, is that like... You have to do two pumps. You have to yeah, do two, two pumps, pumps, whereas this has got like 60 mil of um, capacity. capacity. Capacity, Andy, that's what we're looking for, capacity. Yeah, this is a 60 mil, but obviously we haven't used this for a while. No, I think it's probably broken. That's probably why it's... I think this is one that we uh, I found in the straw over there. It's been there for years. So, so like them, them on this farm are going to be a thing of the past. We just type in the amount, well, I don't know, I'm guessing we type in the amount on there, and that's it, boom. Just does the job. Sounds good. Excited? Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Right, I'm right. going to use it tomorrow. Business. So we just popped the batteries in. Oh! G10. What is it, a G? No, it's a G6 that I want. That's plain, isn't it? 35 mil. Mm. I've not read the manual, I should read the manual. We will read the manual. That's what you ought to do. You ought to read the manual if you're ever going to use this. Look at that. 60, oh, 60 odd. Oh, so you can go over 60 mil. So it'll double double squirt then, I'm guessing. Right, right. Yeah. Might say in the manual, do not exceed 60 mil. When are you, yeah. when are you worming you a 710 it. kilo Seven, bullet? 71 mil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's too See, so it does it. it. So if you do a 60 mil... What we're going to do here? You're going for a big pump. I'm going for a big one. Big beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seems like it's got nice. more capacity. Yeah. You only go to the end, pipe, it? pipe obviously goes on that black bit there that I can't point to because I'm holding camera, but that point to it, Andy. <laughs> that bit. And then we'll have it, like, held on the side of the crush. Like that. And just pick. Run it down, run it down yeah, the backs. Oh, no, God. Can you imagine? Yeah, good. I like that. It'll what? Hey, what, go and say again. I said it'd be interesting what the squirt rate is. How far it'll fire. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> the tone. Lowering the tone. Lowering the tone there, and it. But yeah, right. Um, we'll get to using that hopefully tomorrow. I'm yeah. I am actually excited to use it. Like genuinely, I've I want I've wanted one of these for a long time. And thanks to Tapari for sending it me. Absolute business. Okay, the excitement's like just got everybody and we're starting to put it together now. We weren't gonna, we were gonna go home because it's well past home time, but... Has it gone stiff, that? It is. <laughs> stiff rubber. If anyone's been eagle-eyed, give up. Um, we've changed it from this side to that side. You just undo that. Turn that round, tighten it back up, and then just adjust your nozzle at the end. Because we were at first, we were like, oh, this isn't very good. Andy needs it on the other side. But he doesn't, you know, just work it out. So that's it from us today, guys. I'm going to go and read the booklet, and then I'll translate to you tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Now, it, lo it looks pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, from a little, little play around with the menu, it looks pretty self-explanatory, but... Um, as always, everyone should always read their manuals. Um, yeah, we will we'll catch you tomorrow. If you've liked today's video, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already. If you've liked these tools, uh, videography, 
think it should be more of a full-time thing let me know in the comments business thanks guys bye it's mixervention time and it's a happy birthday to kate masterson now i am sorry that um i haven't had my pen with me i've no idea where it is so um i've wrote it in text format hopefully um in my editing skills if anybody else wants their name on the mixer then there's a link in the description below um, and it raises some money for yorkshire ambulance business